Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to make some delicious wet burritos. In case you guys wanna how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need two pounds of ground beef, burrito sized flour tortillas, refried beans, Spanish rice, your choice of cheese, seven tablespoons of flour, seven tablespoons of butter, four cups of beef broth, two Roma tomatoes, a half of a small white onion, one chile serrano, four tablespoons of tomato paste, four and a half tablespoons of New Mexico chili powder, and all of our spices that I will link in the description box. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to begin by mixing our beef broth with our tomato paste, our New Mexico chili powder, ancho chili powder, oregano, ground cumin, garlic salt, onion powder, and a little bit of salt. So we're just going to mix it all together until the tomato paste is nice and dissolved. And this is what we're going to be using to make our enchilada sauce. Okay, so once we have that all nice and mixed, now we're just going to set it to the side and now we can make our beef. Okay, so we're going to grab our pan, we're going to set it on medium high heat, and so then we're going to add a little bit of oil. So we're just going to wait for the oil to heat up. Okay, so once our oil heats up, we're going to throw in our onion, Roma tomatoes, and chile serrano. And now we're going to fry for a couple minutes. Okay, so after a couple minutes, we're going to add our meat. And we're going to season our meat with our minced garlic, oregano, garlic salt, a little bit of salt, chili flakes, black pepper, and ground cumin. And now we're just going to break down our meat. And we're going to cook our meat for about seven minutes. Okay, so after seven minutes, our meat is done. At this point, you can try it for salt and see if it needs any more. For me, it's perfect. And of course, just drain any excess oil. So now we're just going to set it to the side. Okay, so now we're going to make our enchilada sauce. We're going to grab our pan, we're going to set it at medium heat, and we're going to add our butter. So we're just going to wait for the butter to melt. Okay, so once our butter melts, we're going to whisk in our flour. And just combine your butter and flour together. And now we're going to add our chile broth. And just whisk it in. So just keep whisking until it comes to a simmer. Okay, so once it begins to simmer, we're going to reduce the heat to the lowest setting and we're going to allow it to simmer for about five minutes. Just make sure that you're mixing it constantly. Okay guys, so after five minutes, we have our delicious enchilada sauce. So at this point, we're going to turn it off and we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. And now we are ready to make our delicious wet burritos. All right, guys, and now for the fun part, making our burritos. So we're going to begin by getting some of our sauce into our baking dish. So just pour it. All right, so I grilled my tortilla so they're nice and warm. And I'm going to begin by adding my refried beans and just add it off center. I'm going to grab our Spanish rice. Okay, our delicious ground beef. some cheese. Okay, now we're going to grab the ends and roll it. Just like that. Now we're going to place it on our baking dish. And we're going to repeat the same process to all of our tortillas. Okay, so now we're going to add more sauce on top of our burritos. And just make sure that they're evenly coated. Okay, now we're going to top it with some more cheese. And now we're going to bake for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the cheese has completely melted. Okay, so after 10 minutes, we have our delicious wet burritos. So now we are ready to serve. Okay, so we're just going to grab our burrito. So delicious. Place it on your plate. Okay, so I'm going to be serving my burrito with some sour cream. So just top it and some pico de gallo. 
And just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious whipped burrito. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now I am so ready. Let me tell you guys that this dish is seriously super easy to make. It's fast, so flavorful. And of course, you can always make it you know, more spicy or less spicy, just depends on you. But hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Seriously? The best. The sauce is just perfect. The ground beef is so flavorful. Mm. So good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious web burritos. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.